Now the second beautiful theorem that we are going to look at is called the factor theorem. Okay, the factor theorem. And this one is again, it's so simple that it's almost um, silly, but you'll see it's going to be powerful. Now what this one says is that if we take a polynomial and we substitute any number, and if by substituting that number it simplifies to zero, then x minus that number will be a factor of the original polynomial. Okay, so that sounds a bit, um, okay, what are you saying? Well, let me actually show you by using an example. So, let's say this is my polynomial. I've got px is equal to x cubed minus 7 x plus 6 and into this polynomial I notice something very interesting. I notice that if I take and I substitute the value 2 everywhere where there's an x. So let's substitute 2 and we see that 2 cubed minus 7 times 2 plus 6 gives me 8 minus 14 plus 6. Now 8 minus 14 is, sorry that's plus 6, 8 minus 14 is minus 6 plus 6 is equal to 0. Okay, so I found that P of 2 or 2 substituting that into my polynomial gives me 0. Now from the previous theorem, the remainder theorem, we know that if we take x minus 2 and we equal it to 0, then x is equal to 2. So if I substitute this into my polynomial, then it would give me the remainder of when I divide my polynomial with x minus 2. But I find, oh, but if I do substitute it, my remainder is 0. Now whenever I have a 0 remainder, it means x minus 2, in this case, is a factor. So if I write it in division transformation, x to the power of 3 minus 7x plus 6 is equal to, and if I divided this with x minus 2, I will get a quotient. And if I multiply that quotient with x minus 2, plus my remainder, but my remainder in this case is 0. So I don't need to write the remainder. Okay? And there you see, what have I done? I've actually factorized this thing. I've made two brackets. Now I don't know what qx is, and the only way to find my quotient, I'll have to do um, actual long division. Okay? But I did just get half of the way. I at least found the, the, the uh, factor that I need to divide with. Okay? Now, why is this true? Let's have a quick look at the proof. Okay, the proof for this thing. Okay, first of all, if we divide, if we divide our polynomial px with a factor x minus s, then we know that the remainder is given by ps. That comes from the remainder theorem. Okay, now with that in mind, we also know that PS is equal to zero. So, my remainder is equal to zero. And because my remainder is equal to 0, I can conclude x minus s is a factor. Easy as that. Cool.